All right, guys, what's up? Blair with Tech Rider EDC here today, and I am doing a review of the OEM Tools Fluid Extractor off of Amazon. So I'm halfway through my job, and I wanted to test it out before I start talking about it, see if it's worth it. So this one's the six liter, and it's about $110 when I bought it on Amazon. And so a fluid extractor, if you're not sure, what it does is obviously it extracts fluid. And in this case, I'm using it to change the engine oil on my car. Now, typically, when you use a fluid extractor for an oil change, it's because your filter is up top on the car. Well, in my case, my filter is actually in the front on the bottom, but I have a um, oil, the drain bolt from the previous owner has been stripped and is leaked. So it's in there, it's sealed up nice and tight, and I do not want to take it out again. I'll let the dealer worry about that. Uh, we're still at the tail end of the pandemic and you can't even still get a, uh, a appointment at the dealer for an oil change. So this, uh, my car takes almost eight liters of synthetic and I did make one boo-boo and that is I ordered a six liter extractor, not the eight liter. So I'm gonna drain a lot of it out um, from the filter housing, which is in the front. But so far, so good. So this is the extractor. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory and you need to know how to use it because it comes with terrible directions. The directions don't tell you how to do anything. And really what started me wanting to make this video was there wasn't even a good video about anyone how to use this. Even just assembling it was a pain in the neck. Um, I worked for a crazy German guy in a BMW and Porsche repair shop and he swore by the extractors. And I was, you know, old school or young and naive and against it. Cause I'm like, well, how do you get all the gunk out of the oil pan and everything? And after a couple of years of working there, I realized that changing the oil on your own car with an extractor is just crazy easy especially if you have a filter housing up top. So uh, on some BMWs, Mercedes, Porsche, and Subarus, the filter is right up here. So you take it out, put a new filter in, and then you don't even have to jack the car up or go underneath of it. So in this case, my car is a little bit of a pain right now, but I started it. So what you do is uh, you have a tube that goes down your oil um, dipstick housing. So I'm not gonna take this all out because I have it in there. So this uh, tube goes all the way down dipstick, and it, you put it in until it gets to the bottom, these are all press fittings. It's got this tube, comes all the way down here into the extractor. So I'm just using an inexpensive compressor right now. Um, and I'm gonna hook this up and it creates back pressure and starts sucking it out just like a vacuum. All right, so if you come out a little closer, you can kind of can't hear me. When you come down here to the extractor, you'll see that it's, the oil's filling up. Again, it makes easy work of it. It's pretty good. This actually has a manual handle too that if you lose um, air out of your compressor or you want to do it by hand, you can flip this up and pump it down. That would take forever. Um, if you're ever using an extractor one of these, go slow. Don't just flip open the valve really quick. That's the easiest way to create a mess. Um, you always want to make sure that your tube is lodged in here firmly. Sometimes you may have to take a zip tie and hold it on here because if you work in a repair shop that uses an extractor, then you guys always get pranked by being, having to empty the extractor. And I can tell you, every you guys work the mechanic shop, the guys tell you to go empty it and it explodes on you. Because the tank has pressure, there's all air pressure in the hose and you have no idea what you're doing. And you go over there and you go to take the tube out really quick and the oil goes all over the place. Um, I know that because it was done to me. All right, so I'm checking in the oil here, it's coming out. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick. So you can hear when the compressor kicks on. Yeah, but anyways, you can't. Okay. Oh. All right, so it's been running for a couple of minutes. Uh, the first batch of oil is almost out. And in this case, you know, like I said, I bought a uh, only a six liter. My car holds almost eight. So you could just empty it in between using it. So one thing that you wanna do when you're using these is it can be very messy if you're not careful. So I'm gonna take this out now, but you wanna slowly take the tube out of your dipstick hole and give it a second for all the oil to drain, one, back into the container and two, back into the engine block so that when you pull it out, you don't have a mess and the oil shooting all over. So as I pulled it off the bottom of the oil pan, you can kind of feel it come up out of there and you can hear the rush of oil um, going back into the container and then back into the engine block. So I'm just gonna pull it out. Nice and clean. And then just like anything else, I'm gonna dump this one out in between. 
So now one thing on the instructions, as I said, there are terrible instructions. And when I first opened this up, it has this um, screw right here. And I did spend a good uh, four or five minutes trying to get this over um, this nipple and seal it in there. Um, but actually what it is, it's a pressure fit. They have a note here about it um, too, if you don't notice it. But all you do, when you put this inside here, you go to tighten it up, it's a compression fitting. So definitely convenient. All right, so I'm gonna dump this, I'm gonna set it up for the next one. All right, second batch is oils out, I'm done. And uh, before I tell you my final thoughts, it's pretty funny, so my, my younger kids are running around and they're like, Dad, why are you talking about an oil extractor and not a pocket knife? And my problem was, why I decided to do this was, I couldn't figure out how to um, get the nipple on here and set it all up and the instructions were horrible. So hopefully my pictures, there'll be a link down, I'll have a write up to this, and this video will give you a, a little bit better idea. But this is just a cheap cobalt compressor from Lowe's. I didn't want to get the bigger one out. Um, it was more than adequate to pump it out. And if you ever use it in an extractor like this, there's a valve over here to open it up. Remember, as I said earlier, slowly open and slowly close. You don't want to um, have a, a rush of oil because it is an expensive, an inexpensive oil extractor after all. So how many, how many years when you get out of this, it's hard to say. It's definitely decent quality. Again, like $110. Um, the hose was heavy duty, all the fitting seemed pretty good, but overall it is plastic construction. So it's, this is something that with oil and under pressure, I wouldn't trust to just uh, flip the valve open and use it hardcore. Something you're gonna want to just be careful with. Uh, I don't know if you ever had oil explode all over the place, but you want to talk about a mess. But all in all, for a little over $100, this will make your life so easy. This is a, a pretty decent deal. A couple different sizes available um, online. You know you can get the no-name Harbor Freight brand, brand at Harbor Freight, uh, but you know Amazon makes it easy, and there's a couple other ones out there. Um, but again, all high-quality hoses. The fittings are pretty decent. The valve seems pretty good. Plastic construction, but there's seals inside. And if you want to change your own oil in the driveway without having to jack the car up, this will make your life pretty easy. So, all right, I'll check you guys later on.